Hi everyone, this is Lionheart, and um, I thought I'd do a quick video to show my graphic settings. Um, I've been tweaking around, and I've been trying to make Empire look as good as possible while also running fast. If you watch some videos where people's uh, units they move really quickly into formation, they attack really quickly, their animations are all really quick and sharp as they should be, and then you see a few where people's computers obviously aren't that as powerful as they would like them to be. However, I found that the automatic settings that Empire uses tends to be a lot higher than what your computer can actually take to make it run smoothly as well as look good. So yeah, I'll quit the uh, intro here. If you haven't seen it, there's plenty of videos on YouTube where you can watch the whole thing. So right, here's the options menu, and I'll show you the graphics I've worked out that work well on my computer. I'll just give you a rundown of the settings, uh, the stats of my computer anyway. I've got a Q6600 quad core. Uh, it comes running at 2.4 uh, gigahertz. However, I've overclocked mine to 2.79, 2.8. Um, I'll probably push it up to 2.9 soon, but um, I'll keep these settings the same. I've also got two gig of RAM. It's not fast RAM. But it, uh, it's the basic 667 megahertz RAM, I think. I did have three gigs originally, however, one of my uh, sticks of RAM decided to die, which caused loads of problems for me, but I won't go into detail of that. Um, I've also got a 8600 GTS, the super overclock model of uh, the NVIDIA 8600. Uh, that's basically the weak point of my computer, which is why I can't run Empire basically in all its full ultra glory, uh, or at least everything on high. So yeah, if I, if I had £100 spare then I'd go out and I'd buy myself a, a one of the new uh, NVIDIA cards, the two, uh, GX 200s or whatever they are. So yeah, anyway, the main point I've found that helps run Empire a lot better is changing your shader model. You have three options. Most of you will probably start on shader model 3 uh, high. You may start on low. However, I found that most computers seem to start on Shader Model 3 if they can run this game. So it generally puts on that. Switching it down to 2 speeds up everything remarkably. However, there are slight changes. Your shadows aren't as detailed. It's almost as if you've taken the shadows off. However, there are some noticeable shadows on your units. They're not completely gone. I d used to have anti-aliasing on, however, since I've uh, tweaked some of these settings today, actually, the uh, texture filtering, especially, to uh, eight times, that hasn't been a problem for me, and that's sharpened up without using it. Anti-aliasing will, again, reduce frame rates quite a lot, so I've uh, turned that off. You can have that eight times, I haven't tried it 16 times, well, actually, I'm going to drop mine back down to four, because there was a little bit of lag earlier with it. Texture quality, I've shoved it up to ultra. Um, and no lag whatsoever from that. Particle effects, I've got them on high. Having shader model uh, 2 means that you can't actually use uh, HDR. You can click it, I think, however it doesn't actually work. Uh, you can have some of the other effects, although I don't have them. I have vertical uh, synchronization, that's the only one I have, to sharpen up the graphics and make sure they don't tear. Um, unit detail is high. Uh, building details high, ship detail high, shadows I've got on medium, however I've found that they don't really make a difference because shadows are generally near enough turned off shader model 2, but they are there, they are there. Unit size I have large, I could probably put this on ultra and it would be fine. Um, I have played a few online games at uh, ultra settings. Trees are high, um, I did find in a game today that there was a slow down slightly in my scrolling speed when I went near a woodland so actually talking about that I might put it on medium grass I generally don't like grass particularly I mean it looks good in my videos how I don't like fighting on it so I have it off but for my videos I can turn it on low or medium or whatever it does take up it does make a difference actually if you do turn it off if you've had it running on high and you are lagging a bit water I have on high because in naval battles I'm one of these people that doesn't like playing with more than sort of three or four ships, so it gets chaotic. So the water doesn't make too much of a difference, so my computer can take it. Sky I have on low because, again, I'm happy just seeing a plain sky rather than having a dynamic changing one. 
So yeah, these are my settings. I ha also I run on a screen resolution of uh, 12,080 times 1,024. So I'll quickly show you what Empire sets automatically my settings to be. However, this lags not badly, but the animations are so much slower. So if I click automatic here, puts my shader model to three, no anti-aliasing, tri-linear texture filtering, high texture quality, high particle effects, high shadows, high on all the ship de on all the details, and high grass, high water, and sky. Now, I don't agree I don't think that's a well. This is probably because the computer is detecting my uh, quad core. Um, more than what my graphics card can actually do, which it's, it's a good card, but it's limited to how much further I can actually push it with games these days. I'm probably going to have to get an upgrade soon. But yeah, uh, this is it's the highest it recommends my settings to go, basically. But as you've seen, I prefer my custom shader model too. No anti-aliasing. Eight times and this tropic or whatever it is. Oh, no, four times even. I've changed that. Hi, uh, Ultra texture quality, high particle effects, verti vertical synchronization, medium shadows, medium trees, grass off, and sky low. So those are my settings. I hope this has helped people who've possibly been struggling to get the game looking good and running uh, quickly as well. All my videos are recorded on these settings, so if you want to sort of see what I'm talking about. Can do that because I probably don't have enough time to quickly show you a battle. So yeah, I hope you've uh, this video has been useful for you, and uh, please check out my page, comment, rate, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll be adding up some more videos soon. Bye.